Tari Rata Tare to our creator almighty god and i'm thankful for your life that um you got to see 2019 it's debbie and vicky of balanced living if you're new to our channel welcome and if you're already a subscriber it's good to still have you around so in this video i'll be talking about how i did detangle my hair in a whole year <gasps> one whole year okay but then before i go into um the entire detail and actually the video click on the subscribe button below and the notification bell that pops up right after that so you'll be notified just anytime a new video comes up yes i did not thoroughly detangle my hair in a year like a whole 12 months if not a little more than 12 months okay and then now why did that happen it happened because for almost every wash day i was busy and then i was almost always in a rush and i just didn't have the time to exactly go through my strands thoroughly how did i cope okay what well, i was doing was during my people or when i'm sitting i just go through my hair kind of find a path through it throw it into a twist wash my hair get out of the shower do everything i'm sitting here yeah? i maintain that path and get it right there now did it affect my hair no it didn't my hair didn't break because apparently I moisturize my hair, I do my tea rinses, I deep condition my hair. I almost never actually use a comb on my hair. And if I have to, like I have to use a comb on my hair, like I have to. I just use it at the ends of the hair just because I want to be able to get a smooth end on my twist. And that's it. So I just go with my fingers and then uh, get it through two strands and I'm fine. But I didn't suffer breakage or the exception. Do I advise you to do it? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know your schedule. I don't know your time. I don't know what you do. So, but in the case, and any time you are too busy to go through the entire detangling process, in all honesty, it doesn't affect your hair if you don't totally detangle your hair. That's fact. Except you, you always do curl rolls or flat twists. Then you have to detangle your hair. I don't do curl rolls. Neither do I do flat twists. I'm either matting my hair. That's three strand twist, two strand twist, or I do a two strand, three strand, strand twist, and then I put my hair in something like this, and I'm good. So if you have to be doing um, cornrows and stuff, then you have to detangle your hair. And make sure you detangle your hair down. So I was able to scale through. Now, how did I cope detangling this hair? You don't do that dry. I uh, had to damp my hair like sprint my hair and um, get it down then i applied my um beautiful textures leave-in conditioner because it's a tangle it's a tangle tamer and trust me it does a very good job with taming tangles yeah and then my regular vo5 hydrating conditioner and i put in oils to just put everything they let you go through a soft process i covered my hair with my shower cup or a plastic um, bag go to sleep a day before I intended to finally thoroughly detangle my hair and then I went to bed yeah let me just throw this chip in here yeah? when you are doing this detangling I would not advise you use a white tooth comb but have it handy have a scissors handy and then uh, your spirit bottle should be handy when you're doing this so let me actually show you the process of how I went through it detangling my hair after 12 months so if you're already a subscriber you know i like to handle my hair sections it just makes life a whole lot easier uh I've, i'm actually done with like my entire head of hair i left this three i, I detangled this other side the left and the part of the right so i left this three 
to show you the exact drama involved in the entire detangling process. So what I did was um, I took some of the mixed conditioner and then I pressed it, like pressed it into the hair so it swims into every strand and space of that old twist. I think this twist was like a two weeks kind of old twist or three, I can't remember. And then I gently, gradually and carefully start unraveling. I swear carefully because I don't experience hell a breakage. So I was really, really gentle with her hair. I kind of uh, twirl it while I'm trying to unravel. It kind of helps the twist loosen up when you twirl. And then uh, per adventure you're starting off from um, braids. Most times when I actually braid my hair, when I mean braid, I mean braid with my own hair, not extensions, yeah? Whenever I do that, um, it's a lot easier for me to detangle as opposed to twist. Now you have to be very careful because there are places where you will notice um, some strands that transversed into the other part exactly. It looks like this. So when you get that, you just um, flip your hair over into it and then gently kind of pull to track and notice which part it has gone into and if it needs you flipping over the other part of your twist please just do that it kind of saves you from cutting out that strand as you can see what i'm doing like i'm just gently flipping my hair in and out and in and out until i get it loosened out and then free out that part of my hair so okay i'm done unraveling this twist and then I'll deal with one section at a time. I loosened up my hair. So I start from the roots because apparently um, the twist kind of tangles most for me on the top. So I free that up, walk my way down to the ends of my hair, free it out again, like loosen it out. And then I'll take my fingers, glide it through my hair. When I notice... Um, any point there's a tangle, I go through it gently. And then taking out um, shedded strands, I'll take that out of my hair as well. I just keep going with my fingers, look out for a knot, free out the knot, loosen up the knot, go in there again, look out for another tangle, free up the tangle, go in there again, get another shedded strand out. I just kept like flipping in and out playing the music and um, kind of step into the music making life a lot easy for me because baby girl this wasn't easy <laughs> i just kept doing this shit uh tried to take my fingers like from the roots down <laughs> you know what i got stuck like niggas were like halt you can just run through your hair you know baby <laughs> don't mind me but seriously i just kept doing that and at some point I'll get hooked with tangles I'd have to the thing now is this you can't use a white to comb at this stage clearly because <laughs> baby girl you would cut and cut and cut everything that's on your head because apparently there are tangles there are knots single strand knots double strand knots and your um okay exactly something like this your comb won't feel that knot per se as to notify so when you go you just strip you just cut you think your comb is actually going through your hair it's not what it's doing is finding its way through through thick and thin like it's cutting everything and working all the way out and then you think you're actually detangling your hair I mean, while you're cutting your hair so i advise you go with your fingers because it's your fingers hello they've got, they've got senses so they could sense where there's a tangle and where there's a knot and your fingers can slide and glide through all that now you can see that my fingers can actually go through unlike when i started initially okay when i started initially <laughs> it was really really not possible to do that so just to get the excess shaded strands out but eventually there's some still trapped in my hair and like i said i was um thoroughly detangling this is not what i, would, I did actually on a very good day so i went in with my white to comb starting from the ends of the hair and then i walked my way up to the roots going in gently just to in uh, in quotes baby girls thoroughly detangle the hair so i went that way and then when i'm done i just um twist the half out of the way to the end and then twirl keep it somewhere 
move to the next half do just exactly the same thing going with my fingers carefully detangling thoroughly then going with the comb and comb it out so that's exactly what i did to detangle my hair after 12 day months baby so when I, i'm done i'll just twist that hair up and then keep it outside move to the next twist i just kept repeating that same I like truth and I dare rock who must say I don't know what you want to do But make you let me know if you go show up well yeah. Because I don't buy this so I don't buy shayo for ya I don't call gaga, I don't call my guys at Oh my god, oh my god, like Oh my god, this wasn't easy for me I swear um but then it was possible and that's the last one <laughs> like the last one it felt like forever trust me if i taking you through real time you would slip off watching this video <laughs> okay so praise the lord baby girls i am doing like oh 12 months it took me more than 12 hours but then i'm done detangling the hair so I seized them the opportunity to trim off the ends of my hair, like kind of dusting off. Okay, it was a little more than dusting off the ends of my hair. But then I kind of did that. And then pressed the whole product into my hair. Yeah, kind of dusted the ends because baby girl, they needed some revival. They needed some revival, baby. But I've been taking care of my hair. I didn't get it twisted. I just wasn't detangling my hair like all the time. This was actually my pre -pull. so after this, I went in and washed my hair. Am I actually going to leave my hair for another one year without detangling it? Hmm. I'm thinking. I don't know. I don't know because I can't tell. I might have the leisure of time in the next three months, and I might have to do it without detangling. But in the case where I'm busy again throughout 2019, but I guess I'll be detangling my hair again after 12 months where I didn't.